What's up everyone? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to change the door straps on a 718 Cayman GT4. As you can see I have blue everywhere, blue stitching, but these came in silver. They don't actually sell these on Suncoast at the moment and they only sell the entire assembly for like 500 freaking dollars which is insane uh, so I found on Amazon uh, some one inch thick webbing I'll put the link in the description below but anyway we just have to remove this here door card undo some screws a bolt cut a hole and uh, pop a bit back in so we're gonna turn this to this so let's get started here's what you'll need for the job some of this webbing, you get a entire roll for $12 on Amazon. This color is Pacific Blue. The first thing you want to remove, get out your little flathead. See right here, you got this little tiny hole in there. Pop that out. Here's a T30 screw straight back in there. For this panel, put your plastic trim tool in here, under here, twist it. Here, sorry, I'm trying to do the best I can one-handed. Okay, that comes off. And as you can see right here, we have a T30 Torx. Take that one out as well. Okay, so go up here. As you can see here, we have one more screw to remove. And the door should be able to pull straight up. Which it did. And this works. Pinch here, pull, pinch here, pull, and lift. Okay. Then you just remove this ball joint from here. Also, over here, you push in, push in on that thing, lift the magenta clip up, and there you go. Door panel is free. Okay, so here's the back side of the door card. Uh, what we have here to remove this silver strap is two T20 Torx bits and one eight millimeter ratchets. Okay, two screws and this little plate. Lefty Lucy. Okay, so I'm going to pull this through. And what we have here is a uh, piece of poly polypropylene webbing. Looks like it's sewed on one end or something, and three holes. So I'm just going to copy it exactly here. Let me show you how to do that one second. So anyway, to make this video extra fun, my tripod broke. Anyway, I've got a two-legged one now. So bear with me, I'm going to do the best I can here. Here's the original, here is the new webbing, I said it's called Pacific Blue, and uh, all I'm going to do is just uh, cut an identical length piece, right here, get some good scissors out, and uh, try and cut it nice and straight. Pretty darn close. I'm actually going to do two, so I don't have to do this again with the other one on the uh, passenger side. So I may as well just do, you know, two while I got one out here. So, and uh, for the ends, you'll also need a lighter or something, as you can see already. This one's starting to fray. Mm, that's not good. Anyway, burn it off. Burn it up, make it nice and, uh, ouch. <laughs> Burn it nice so it's, uh, you know, nice and sealed like this. Do that on all sides. 
it doesn't really matter if it doesn't look pretty it's going to be hiding behind the uh it's gonna be hiding behind the door card anyway so next part take your hole punch i will leave a um link in the video description just match it up whichever size you think is best i don't think it's going to really mean a whole heck of a lot if it's not exact um just 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 a screw going through it so anyway i think i have the third third largest one here i'm just gonna take a little sharpie put it right through there in the middle and then get these other two here exactly right do that punch it through let it soak there for a sec move it around a tiny bit just make sure you get it nice and centered so next we uh, just have to give these a punch you might have to do a couple different directions this is what's nice about the sharpie because the ink actually goes through both sides you can actually see it on the other side you can get a hole through it after a couple of attempts one thing i learned when um, making these once you get the hole punched through put something through it i don't know screwdriver whatever and burn around that that will create a very nice hole so anyway this part here with the bolt on it if you see it lying because it fell through um it just goes right here what we're going to do first put this through here and leave it open like this okay hopefully you can see this okay yeah you can and then put the webbing through here put the plastic piece through here okay bolt goes through the hole now the bolt goes through the webbing okay take this piece uh indented triangle side down you see he's got these pointy triangle boys on the back put that there retighten tighten it up give it a nice hand tighten doesn't need to be too crazy but you don't want it rattling off i mean you can just lift it up and look in here all you gotta do is Feed it through that hole. Okay, looking pretty good so far. Anyway, once you get it through the hole there, it pops out on the other side and line it up. Get these two screws in. And that's pretty much it. This side is a little bit easier than the whole bolt mechanism. Let's get this guy lined up. All right, let's see what it looks like. looks good it's a really good match i'm not sure the camera picks it up properly um but it's a pretty darn close match with the speed blue stitching i got weird light in here coming in from the outside door anyway um yeah it's it's super easy perfect and uh seems to be functioning just dandy okay obviously or if you're new to working on cars maybe not obviously we're just going to do everything um in the reverse order that we did in like that and then turn it and then put it put this in here like this slide it in and bam goes in there just like that okay so push the push the blue thing in all the way put down the magenta clamp and then you can see on the inside of the door you have these hooks like one here one way over here this is incredibly difficult to do one-handed by the way all right you, you put those in these slots here so you put it in those push down and uh you're good to go so all we need to do now put some screws back in and then pop the trim pieces back out i'll show you how to do that all right, time to bust out the T30 and put these four 
One, two, three, four. Put those four screws. Obviously another thing you want to do is test it before you go through all this stuff. And it works great. Let's get these panels back on. Starting with this one, you can see these clips here. That's what these here go into. You just pop them in place. It's really, really easy. Start at the top. Make sure everything clicks. There's four clicks on this panel. Um, make sure the tab is up. Put the tab up in there. Kind of a pain because the thing's in the way and I'm doing this one handed again. But anyway, pop that in with your hand. And then we got the last one here. It goes on the end. Prongs, they go in the two outside holes. All right, so that's pretty much it. All you gotta do is repeat for the other side. If it wasn't for the stupid camera, I would say um, the first side's gonna take you probably 30 minutes. The other side, probably 15 to 20, depending on how fast you work. So anyway, um, I have some extra webbing. If anyone has a shark blue GT4 or Spider and they want some of it, um, I can certainly get it sent to you. Um, and if somebody has a Gentian blue car, uh, I actually tried to return this at Amazon and uh, they basically told me to keep it. So I have no need for it. So I think it would work fine with a Gentian blue car. Uh, it's kind of a darker blue. I know it doesn't really look like that in this oversaturated um, camera, but I can assure you it's definitely dark enough to uh, to use. So anyway, leave, leave me a comment or something. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And uh, like all the other YouTubers, uh, like, share, and subscribe and all that other crap. I'll see you guys next time, and uh, thanks for watching. What is that? More close up of the stitching. There you go.